my name is Damien. I'm an application engineer at, Adl at Aldec, and today I will show you our register generator for design register and memory management. So let's start the presentation. Okay, so at the beginning I will say something about the existing problems and how to solve them. Uh, then I move into the outputs. Uh, we support two kinds of input files, the IP exec file and the ALDEC proprietary format. And then I will focus on the uh, output files. There are two kinds of RTL models written in VHDL and Verilog with universal interface or with axis for light interface. And the next kind of output is the C header file used by the programmer to access a register block from the software level. And the next kind of output is the UVM RIL model written in system Verilog package. And at the end, the HDML uh, documentation. So let's start from the problems. Uh, the registers are widely utilized to control, to report the system status. Uh, complex design has plenty of register to uh, handle, uh, which implementation is very time consuming. Um, uh, register also are modified during the development process from one side by the hardware engineers and from the other side by the software engineers. And both models need to be uh, synchronized. And the solution is to keep register specification in one place and then generate models automatically for the software and hardware in uh, for the software and hardware engineers. This will minimize effort needed to create a new model and is less error prone than uh, manual work. Uh, what about the input files? Uh, our register generator support two kinds of input files. The first one is the IP exec file XML format that defines and describes packaging integration, IP reusing, reusing and many other stuff. But for the generation purpose, we uh, analyze only the section with memory maps. Till now, there were two approved standard versions in 2009 and 2014. Our tool supports uh, both of them, and the standard version is chosen automatically. And the second kind of input files is ALDEC own format based on comma separated uh, file where data is split into the tables. Uh, tables can be stored in separate files or merged together into one big old table. Uh, once the final register or blocks can be further reused and instantiated many uh, times. Uh, both uh, kind of files uh, are validated and uh, verified during the generation process. Any inconstances or unexpected data are reported to the uh, console. Uh, let's take a look on the sample IP exec file. At the beginning, we have a map one with block one, and inside this block, uh, there is a register R0 with two fields, F1 and F2. Both fields have uh, the same uh, size, 16 bits, and uh, access is set to read and write. And of course, the same could be uh, done with uh, ALDEC uh, format, where the first row defines column data type, and the remaining rows uh, contains uh, register data. In this case, we also have the map one with block one, and inside this block, uh, there is a register R0 with uh, two fields with the same size, and because uh, the data type with felt access is not uh, set, uh, by default, uh, both fields uh, have access set to read and write. And this is time for the output files. The first kind of input file is the RTL register model, which sits between the system bus and custom user hardware. From bus side, register block updates uh, registers or returns the values to the bus. Uh, generated RTL code utilize Verilog 2001 or VHDL 1993. Uh, both generated coders are fully uh, synthesizable. RTL register software can have two kinds of interface type. The first one, uh, very simple, uh, universal interface, and the second one, well-known AXI for light interface. This is the RTL model with universal interface. Uh, in this case, we need to add uh, additional component, the adopter, to transform the uh, signals from this uh, universal interface into the one used in our uh, bus. Uh, the reading new data into the register block is very simple. Uh, we need to put a valid data on W uh, data on W address, 
and after passage on right strobe, uh, we get a new data in our register. And the same is done for reading. We only need to put a valid address and after passage on uh, uh, read strobe, uh, we get expected data on uh, air data uh, signal. In case of AXI4 light interface, there is no need to add uh, additional component if, of course, our system utilizes this kind of interface. Uh, we can see that the uh, hardware interface in both cases remain the same. We have each uh, register field uh, exported uh, on the port so we can read uh, current uh, field uh, value. And we have two additional signal uh, to write and write enable a new value into the register field. This is the example with Xilinx Vivado. Uh, we have here a micro blaze processor with Axie interconnect. And when we add uh, our IP uh, RTL block, the designer assistant can automatically connect this component uh, to our system. After all, we only need to check the address space in address editor to match the specification. And the next kind of output file is the C header, uh, which allows to access the register from software block. The programmer, after including this file, can access the register block by one of the following methods. The first one is done by the structures. Uh, the header file defines the top structure block with all register, with all its fields. So we can uh, write or read a value into the whole register or directly into its fields. The next kind of access is done by predefined read and write functions. We also have an access to a whole register uh, value or directly into its fields. And the next kind of access is done by the predefined constants. In, in, if, if from some reasons you cannot use predefined structure or function, uh, you can write your own macros basis on these constants. The advantage is that you can use uh, names uh, instead of the addresses because the addresses can change during the development process. Uh, the next kind of output is the UVM register abstract level, which is a set of UVM classes for modeling register and memories. Uh, generated model is compatible with uh, recent uh, UVM libraries. In, ad in addition, we can also create a simple test case, uh, which will utilize generated model, make uh, reset and print uh, hierarchy model. Uh, we can also create a coverage uh, for functional coverage. And if uh, the UVM model is uh, generated with uh, RTL model, uh, the HDL paths are added for backdoor access. So let's take a look on the sample generated code. Uh, for each register, we create a class which extends the UVM uh, reg base class. In this class, uh, we create all the fields and uh, the build methods to create and configure the model. Then we create a class for the top block uh, and we make an instantiation of uh, previously defined classes. There is also an object of UVM reg map and the build method to create and configure a uh, whole model. So let's move on. This is the last but not least uh, output file, the HTML documentation. Um, which helps sharing information about the register layer between anyone involved uh, in the project. There are two sections, the first one with navigation pane and the second one with register details. The navigation pane allows to switch uh, between two data representation type. The tree view, which presents a hierarchical tree uh, in the same way as UVM prints uh, register model and the flat view, which lists all the registers and memories sorted by their addresses. And it's time to run the demo project. This is RTL uh, register model connected to microbrace processor utilizing AXI4 light interface. Uh, this simple case uh, shows us how to access generated RTL block uh, from the hardware part and from the software part. Uh, simulation starts uh, when we write a uh, value into the first register, register R1. Uh, this uh, value is uh, noticed by the code controlling uh, processor. 
and uh, readed value is copied into the next register, register R2. And the same is done on the hardware side. We also noticed the, the change on the register R2 and we copy this value into the register R3 and so on until the register R4 have the same uh, value as register R1 and this uh, finishes the simulation with success. So let's run the uh, Rivera Pro uh, advanced verification platform. This is the script uh, controlling whole process. Uh, this command uh, will generate the register block. Here we have the compilation part and finally the elaboration and simulation. Uh, this is the Rivera Pro advanced verification platform. Here is the main script controlling the whole process. Uh, here we have a command uh, which will create a RTL model uh, written in Verilog with XCI interface. Here we have uh, a part which compile whole design and finally uh, elaborate and run a simulation. So I will run this script and one, while it will be running, uh, I will show you the code uh, controlling our processor. At the beginning, we, sh we saw the section which includes our predefined header file. Uh, further, we have uh, the loop which uh, uh, checking for the change of the register R1 and when this change appears, uh, we, uh, copies, uh, we copy readed value into the next register R2 uh, into directly into its fields. And we jump into the next loop uh, where we are looking for the change on the register R. Oh, sorry. I see that simulation has finished. So let's get back to the source. Uh, here we are looking for the change of the register R3. And when it's, this change appears, we copy readed value into the register R4. So I see that simulation has finished. So let's take a look on the console. Uh, this, this is the part when we write an initial value into the uh, felt one of register R1. The value is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, we need to generate a passage on write enable signal. And then we are waiting until the software part will uh, give the response. Here is the monitor. We can see that uh, the value of register R1 has changed. And after some nanoseconds, the receive from the software part appears. And this, part, this change was noticed by hardware side. So we copy readed value from register R2 into the register R3. We also generate a passage on write enable signal. And we wait until the value of register R4 will change. And after some nanoseconds, uh, the change, the response from the software part appears and the simulation finished with success because the value of register uh, R1 is the same as the value of register R4. We could also uh, check the uh, waveform. Uh, we can see how the value is propagated down through the further register. So we can see the change of the register R1 and further into the register R2 and so on into the register R3 and R4. So let's get back to the presentation for the summary. Uh, so the register generator is a command line tool implemented in Riviera Pro, allow the user to generate model automatically for uh, design and verification purposes. And the model can be generated from IP component description specified in IP exec file or ALDEC uh, own format utilizing CSV uh, spreadsheet. So that's all from my side. Thank you for watching and goodbye.